I personally hate complicated reviews that nobody understands, so here's a simplified version of owning a Hisense TV. I own this for the past six months and there's a couple of things that I like and things that I don't. This is the 58 inch version, it comes with a very very basic app store with a couple of apps that you could choose from. So if you're only using YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, maybe Plex, you're good. Everything else is uh, not available. The browser app, it's okay, but I highly doubt you're gonna ever use the browser app on a TV. The YouTube app works pretty good. This is my channel and I could browse, search and uh, find anything that I want. Works off the remote, which is quite easy to use, up and down, left and right. Similar thing for the Netflix app or the Amazon Prime. Pretty good and pretty easy to use. Very reliable, never crashed. The edge of the TV, it's very narrow, so it's kind of edgeless. It looks good on the wall, so it does have a wow effect when you enter the room. But now the bad part, and that is only when you put it next to a calibrated screen, like this laptop, which is an Asus with a calibrated screen. If I'm going to pull up this image, you're gonna clearly see the difference in color. The TV does not replicate the colors very, very well. I've noticed that reds and blues are very, very different. This is a great picture from the Superstore show, and you can clearly see the blue on the shirts. They are quite different. Even though the TV has expert settings to adjust the picture, it is not really, really accurate as far as being able to replicate the colors. So I've adjusted the colors as much as I could from outside and that was almost impossible. Even if a professional calibration is possible, I highly doubt that somebody is going to spend two or three hundred dollars to professionally calibrate a two hundred or three hundred dollar TV. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't look bad when you look at it, it has sharp and brilliant colors, they just don't really match the original picture. But if you don't have anything to compare it to, it looks very, very normal. Only a professional trained eye will be able to tell the difference if they are used to the calibration colors or they have a different TV that displays the colors are a little bit different. Otherwise, for everyday use, this is something that you're not gonna notice. What about if you wanna use it as a monitor? How does it work? It does have a delay, and you can clearly see it in between the two. The TV has an easy 20 millisecond delay, and you could definitely see it, no question about it. It is good in games, but not something that you're gonna use for high performance. If you have a PlayStation and you wanna play a game that requires very, very good response time, you're better off just getting a computer monitor. The image quality is good, except a couple of places where it's a little bit fuzzy, but otherwise, in, even in 4K, it looks pretty good. In conclusion, this is a TV that I would buy again for the things that I do on a daily basis. Very limited gaming that I do and watching YouTube, um, Amazon, Prime, and sometimes Netflix, it works really, really well. It has a nice wow effect on the wall. It works really, really well. I paired it with a sound bar, uh, so it sounds a lot better. The internal speakers are not something to be very, very proud of. If you could afford a Sony or a Samsung, it's great, but you all have to cough up double the money for, in essence, for an untrained eye, the same thing. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think at the bottom of this video. Vegas Romaniac out.